Hello, everyone. All right. Um, if you pay attention to my community tab, you will see that I have been hearing lately, get it done before Scorpio season. Okay. Get it done before Scorpio season. So I'm going to do a reading for the collective. Okay. So I feel like there's a lot of, of things that we need to be looking at. Okay. And for whatever reason, the universe is, is telling me, um, to let you guys know that Scorpio season is probably going to be some big changes and, um, how we need to handle that, how we need to move forward, what we need to do. Okay. So keep in mind, this is for the collective. Not everything is going to resonate, so don't force it. Okay. Also, just take what resonates for you and leave the rest, right? Um, mark it. If it really resonates for you, mark it, save it, whatever, whatever you do, um, and then go back um, and start looking at it, you know, in Scorpio season. All right. So what I'm going to do first is I'm going to pull some Oracle cards. We're going to get those messages. I'm using four decks. So again, not all this is going to hit for you. All right. Not all of it is but whatever does, just take it as it resonates. Okay. All right. Scorpio season. What do we need to know? Why can't I get this card? There we go. Scorpio season. Okay. I took two. Oh, well, we're going to take two then. It is what it is, right? All right, everybody. Thank you for clicking the like button. Bumps me up in the algorithm. I appreciate all of you. If you guys want a personal reading, um, information is in the description box. Shoot me an email. All right, let's do it. So the first is the Moonology card. Believe in the impossible. Okay, the universe is wanting you to know that um, there's changes coming. Okay, there's changes coming. Believe in the impossible. It's like, get ready, buckle up. Okay. Because when the universe brings things to you, it's really hardly ever, you know, in like a nice flowing, even keeled energy, right? It can be a lot of chaos. All right. Coyote spirit, trust in divine detours. Like I just said, the universe is going to take you for a ride, man. Right. <laughs> Rabbit spirit. Now is a lucky time. Okay. Just because it doesn't feel lucky, I'm telling you, because Scorpio season is that death energy, that tower energy, that judgment energy, right? Big force change, but it's always for your highest good, okay? So now is the time to grab a hold of whatever is going on in your life and try and get as much settled as you can, ground yourself, really anchor yourself, um, and you know, stay grounded, not let things get to you, okay? Sobriety. So for some of you, this could be a really big issue, okay? Um, not all of you, obviously. Okay. But people who, who have that issue and it's a lot of people. Okay. Right now is the time to, to get grounded, to get anchored. Okay. To find, to find, you know, your hold, especially with the holidays coming up because Lord knows. All right. And clearing your space. Yes. Clear the space because when the universe brings something to you, okay. Gotta have room. Gotta have room. All right. I'm gonna put these up here and I'm gonna pull. Um, I've got some bigger cards that I'm using for this spread. And then I'm gonna use my new deck. So before Scorpio season, why is this reading important for the collective? What's going on that we need to know for the very highest good of all involved? The very highest good of all involved. All this chaos is coming out in the shuffle. <laughs> There we go. All right. Let's do it. Let's freaking do it. Bottom of the deck, the star, right? The universe is getting ready to, ready to uh, bring you some, some great things, right? All right. The current energy, the hanged man, maybe stuck, maybe stagnant, trying to figure things out, what's going on, right? The challenge, Ooh, the five of wands, change, inner struggle, right? The foundation of the reading, why is this all happening? The ace of wands, new beginnings, passion, creativity, a fire in your belly, okay? The recent past, okay, which could even be 
you know, kind of inner, you've got to remember that time is fluid. Okay. So it may not be the past yet. All right. But at some point you guys are going to, you know, transfer through this, this energy, the king of swords, air energy, right? The crowning or overall energy, the seven of swords. Okay, coming into the near future, what's coming in Scorpio season? What's coming? Justice. All right. Libra energy there. All right, the energy that you are in now, okay, or how you see yourself now, okay? We have the six of wands, Leo energy, but wanting success, wanting victory, feeling successful, okay? What is needed from you? What does what is the universe calling you to do or be or have, right? What is needed from you? We've got the king of wands. There's that, you know, that fire in your belly. There's going to be a lot of action. There's going to be change. There's going to be things coming, okay? And the king of wands is an action-oriented card, right? He takes action, goes after what he wants, okay? Um, your best course of action, your advice from the universe, right? The knight of cups, go forth lovingly, right? That water energy that Scorpio season brings, all right? And the potential outcome. We have the five of cups. Um, that can talk about old wounds or pain or regrets or loss, right? But let's let the clarifiers tell the story. Bottom of the deck, we have the star, all right? I don't want to put that somewhere where it's going to be seen too much because YouTube likes to censor things. All right. So I got this new deck. It's called the Pulp. What is it called? The Pulp Tarot, right? It's that. It's that, uh, that retro, you know, that pulp aesthetic. All right. Okay. So coming into the current energy, we've got the hanged man, right? Kind of, I, I feel like taking your time, looking at things, you know, maybe feeling stuck or stagnant, right? Pisces energy there. We have the 10 of pentacles, right? This could be a situation. And again, it's that, that pulp. Aesthetic. I love it. Okay. Um, you may be feeling stuck in a situation or you may be feeling overly secure, right? Just hanging out in this 10 of pentacles energy. You're like, meh, I'm good. Right. This could also be the energy of wanting that 10 of pentacles, right? Becoming enlightened. Um, you guys, it's going to resonate for differently for a lot of people. So I want to make sure, you know, that I'm getting all the information out. Okay. Um, it could also be, um, Somebody looking at a, at a ten, of ten of Pentacles situation differently, looking at a relationship differently, looking at a job differently, okay? What is this Ten of Pentacles and a Hanged Man? The Wheel of Fortune. I just feel like some of you are real comfortable right now. Real comfortable right now, right? The challenge is this Five of Wands. and the queen of swords. So there's, there's, there's restlessness. Okay. Drama. There could be, you know, I mean, there could be a situation where, you, you know, that you've got somebody or, 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 you know, a person, a wife, a boss, somebody, um, making a lot of changes and it's causing problems. Right. This queen of swords, that's Libra energy, but I feel like um, there's somebody trying to like disrupt your peace, okay? Yeah, judgment, Scorpio energy. There's change coming. It's on the horizon. It's unavoidable, okay? That queen of swords is, is a truth speaker and a truth seeker, okay? And there's change coming. The fives in tarot are about change. Five of wands. The queen of swords and the judgment, right? This is happening. This is happening right? This is going to interrupt whatever you have going on right now. The foundation of the reading is this Ace of Wands. New beginnings, right? What's this Ace of Wands and the Six of Pentacles? I feel like the balance is going to shift. There's going to be um, kind of a, like a power shift. 
What's this Six of Pentacles and the Ace of Wands? And the Four of Swords. This is just going to be a, a, a huge wake up for people. This Four of Swords, you know, um, yes, they do want you to heal things. Also, they want you to kind of evaluate things, right? Tie up loose ends. But the Six of Pentacles is equal give and take, okay? And the Ace of Wands is there's going to be an interruption in, in, this, in this energy. There's going to be something big coming, okay? And they're telling you to lean into it, right? Don't resist. Lean into it because it's coming regardless. Okay. And this could be in any capacity or just overall. All right. So the recent past, the King of Swords, Aquarius, Libra, Gemini energy, right? We're in, we're in Libra season. The five of Pentacles. You know, there's, there could be um, some, some huge things that you've been dealing with as far as your stability, right? Your money, your finances, right? And you've made some big decisions and changed things for the better. Um, but, you know, when you ask the universe for change, right? When you started manifesting this beautiful energy, this Ten of Pentacles, Wheel of Fortune energy, right? When you started manifesting that, you know, the universe always wants so much more than we want for ourselves, right? And has the power to give it to us. So I, I just, I feel like there's just going to be things coming forward. New energy, right? When you were trying to get out of a bad spot or a tight spot or a sad spot or whatever it was, and you started manifesting and things started going better, right? Libra season is all about balance. It's all about justice. It's all about, you know, balancing those scales, feeling better. Okay. But the universe isn't done yet. Yeah, the fool. You know, you, you may have uh, gotten a running start on some of this manifestation and felt like you got like a restart, okay? And you did. But the universe is saying, if you want more, lean in because change is coming. Okay, this is going to be what you make of it, right? Start manifesting whatever it is that you want, right? And understand that the universe is going to knock things out of the way in order for you to get it. Okay, so your crowning energy is the seven of swords. I don't feel like this is deceit or lying or anything. I feel like this is strategy. You need a strategy to get through this, right? You have to understand that you can't be going through this energy sloppy, right? You've got to tie off those loose ends, okay? So whatever it is, make a to-do list or, or whatever it is you've got to do to get through this because you need more room to hold more swords. I'm telling you that right now, right? It, it's, it's like that energy of... Um, you need a strategy to deal with everything that's coming your way. The five of cups. Um, the universe may very well open up some old regrets, some old losses, some old hurts, right? Forcing you to deal with them. Forcing you to learn what you need to learn, forgive yourself and others, and then move on. So you've got space for the good and you can get rid of the past, right? You can learn from it and move on. Yeah, the high priestess. There are there's things that this is this reading is just not going to tell me. There are things going on here that are that are going to be really really um, major changes for people, and the universe is like just prepare them, just prepare them. Okay, you may not get out of this what you're looking to find. Just know that the universe is telling you. Okay, use the energy that's going on right now in your life, in the sky, in the air, in the world, whatever. Okay, to transform so that you can move forward. Okay. So what's coming? We'll see what it tells us. Again, we've got the justice card, right? Paying off karmic debts, balancing those scales. Justice is kind of an interesting card in this deck. There's a, a feather and a sword, right? If I can, there we go. All right, what's coming? The Eight of Pentacles. Money. Things you need to work on, things you need to invest in. 
But in this, in this deck, it's a little bit different. It's almost like you need to be prepared to be a little bit vulnerable, right? She's buck naked over there on that, on that chair, couch, sofa thing, chair, right? You may have to, you may have to be a little, a little um, vulnerable, right? Working on some of these things. The universe may very well, um, in the process of working on your future, strip you completely, right? It happens. And there it is, the tower, Scorpio energy. That is what's coming, right? That is what's coming. And I will tell you that I cannot emphasize enough how big this tower moment is going to be for a lot of people. This year has been full of tower moments. But Scorpio season is bringing down the house 100%, okay? Making space for the new, okay? Let's let's ride the wave together, okay? Because I, I am manifesting right now some big, big things in my life. And I'm ready, but it's going to be uncomfortable as hell. I can tell you that right now. <laughs> and the Six of Cups. Deal with the past. It may come back around to bite you in the ass. All right, so right now we're in this Six of Wands energy, right? We're like, we can do this. We're going to be successful. It's going to be great. Says everybody at the beginning of the 5K, right? We got this. It's great. Yeah, the King of Cups, Scorpio energy, right? I can embrace this. I can win. I can conquer it. We can do this. And we can. Absolutely, 100%. We can. Yeah, the Page of Swords. I'm waiting for it. I'm watching out, I'm looking all around. I'm taking in the details. So what's needed from you, the king of wands, arm yourself, you know, with fire, with motivation, with passion, with forward movement, right? Taking action, working with and not against. Yeah. And the four of wands, staying stable. This is so cute. Look at this card. It's just so stinking cute. Focus on it. Come on. Anyway, it's cute. Yeah. Stay stable. Anchor yourself, right? Stay grounded. Stay focused. Don't don't go off, you know, half cocked. Don't don't get loose. Don't get squirrely. Go forward. Stay grounded. Okay. I know those sound like conflicting messages, but it's it's like grounding your energy. Right. So this storm doesn't take you completely out. It's going to knock a lot of things out. You know, the power's going to go out, might blow out some of the windows. Right. But we're going to rebuild bigger, better, stronger. And the three of cups. OK. Try to find a way to be positive and welcoming of this. Right. Be happy about this energy. Try to find a way, you know, lean on others if you need to. You know, this is a community. You can come here and say, say, you know, comment and talk. I'm live three times a week, Wednesday, Thursdays, and Fridays, right? I read comments. We like to lift each other up here. Let's do it. This community can help each other out, right? So your best course of action, the Knight of Cups, that water energy, right? What's this Knight of Cups? The Ten of Swords. Yep. End things, but do it with love in your heart, right? Whatever is causing you pain, whatever is, is messy, whatever is holding you back, right? Wrap it up. Even if it hurts, understand it's necessary, okay? We want, we want to move on healed and enlightened and happy and focused. And, you know, we want it to be just magical AF, right? So the Knight of Cups and the Ten of Swords. And some things may very well hurt to let go of. I get it. But, you know, you know what you need to release. And you know what's not working. You know what's not, not making you happy, right? Understand it's in your highest good that it ends because the universe wants bigger, better for you, right? Make space. And the Ten of Cups, that's what they want for you. They want that happiness, right? Focus on the positivity, right? 
Don't focus on the negative or you'll just get more negative. So the five of cups is a potential outcome. What's this five of cups? I just feel like there's going to be change, right? Crying over spilled milk isn't going to help. There's new stuff coming in. Yes, three of those cups are spilled all across the bottom, but in the window, there's two, right? Ready and waiting. This journey may not look like what you had planned, but it never does, right? Just be open to receive. Be happy for the changes. And the world card, a whole new cycle begins, right? Out with the old, in with the new. Completing cycles. Successfully completing cycles. It's going to be uncomfortable. I'm certainly not going to lie to you about that. And the Queen of Wands, right? Embrace it. Go after it. Just, you know, take action. Manifest a big, fat, beautiful life for yourself. You know, the King and Queen of Wands, again, are action-oriented cards. And the Queen of Wands is, you know, the sorceress of the deck, the witch of the deck. She's got that black cat down there at her feet, right? Manifest the hell out of what you want because it's coming. It's coming. Take action, right? However you do that, praying, vision boards, spells, whatever it is, however you do it, right? Whatever you subscribe to, give thanks to the universe and be open to receive and usher it in, right? The eight of swords. We don't want to stay stuck during this, this season, right? We want to move on. We're trying to get unstuck, right? One sword at a time, right? Get those out of the ground and start moving forward. The ace of swords. There it is. There's your, there's your weapon to cut yourself loose, to be freed, right? I love it. I'm going to tell you guys again, this isn't going to resonate the same for everybody. Some of, you, some of you aren't even going to be thinking big enough. You're going to be thinking about like just your immediate situation. But when this tower comes in during Scorpio season, trust me when I say it's, it's coming down. Like everything you know to be true right now may very well change. All right. So we have the star. Okay. That is, that's hope. That's healing. That's getting your wishes. The five of pentacles and the nine of swords. Don't be afraid of it. Okay. Don't be afraid. Don't be scared that you're going to lose, okay? The Page of Pentacles and the Four of Cups. It's like that that energy of um here here it comes, okay? Be ready to grab it and grab a hold of it. No matter what it looks like, right? No matter what it looks like. I do feel like also um it's weird because this is something I've never gotten, but it's like, you know, this is up here in the sky and this is the page, the messenger. It's like, I, I'm supposed to be telling you this message. I'm supposed to be giving this to you, right? Temperance, universal alchemy, right? The universe working on things in the background to go your favor. And the four of wands, stability, happiness, victory over this whole thing, okay? So if any of this resonated for you guys, I want you to hit the like button. Or if you just like it, I want you to hit the like button. Um, and again, don't forget, you know, that we have these other messages up here. Okay. Believe in the impossible. Trust in divine detours. Now is a lucky time. Sobriety and clearing your space. Clear your space because, you know, you're going to need room for all, for all the new that's coming in. The star energy. And I'll get in trouble for, you know, showing it because she's got boobs. So apparently those are offensive now. Whatever. But this is everything you ever wanted that the universe has got to knock some things down first, right? The tower. I love it. I think it's beautiful. I'm happy. I want everyone to know that this is going to be uncomfortable, maybe even painful. It might suck, but that's okay because it's not permanent, okay? The discomfort's not permanent, and it's those growing pains that we have to go through to get to the other side, to get this star energy. All right, y'all. I love it for you. Join me here every Friday for Free Card Friday. In the meantime, like, share, subscribe, comment. I love the comments. Okay. I want you all back. So be nice to one another. Be nice to yourself. I'm sending you tons of love and light.